Yeah, they made us work for it. I felt that in the first half uh, there were psychological and tactical reasons for uh, us uh, not expressing our the quality of our game. Uh, we rectified uh, that at half time, and in the second half uh, we won the ball higher up. We uh, could then get our midfield, who is uh, technically very talented, into the game, and then we controlled the game. I felt in the second half, basically. Uh, we looked always like we could win this game, and that's what we did. In the end, I would say, yes, it was a, a little bit uh, with a deflected goal on the first, and the second one as well was a bit lucky. But overall, I felt that uh, we controlled well the game in the second half. Awesome. Seven years ago was the last time in the final, Arsenal. So is this unfinished business for, for, for you? It was unfinished business, yes, because we didn't win. and. Uh, but uh, we are again at Wembley. I don't know how many times we were there, but uh, we are in the final again and uh, could, can take our fans there. That's uh, what you want. But of course, we want to, now we are in it, we want to win it and uh, we play against a very strong side, so it would, could become a very interesting game. You've had such success with the back three against Chelsea in the last since Conte came in. What, what made you go with the four? <coughs> Because we know each other well, uh, we had uh, many draws, you know, and uh, we wanted to. I wanted to win the game. We needed to score, and uh, overall, uh, I think the system. Uh, once we, I changed some things at half time. Uh, worked quite well. Is that what you want to get with the system? That you're fluid enough to be able to sort of switch between a three and a four on a fly? Yeah, we. That's what we did it in the second half. No, I think uh, I have the right sometimes to have a, a small sense of humour in the press conferences, <laughs> even if I'm not very talented in it, but uh, uh, that's what I said. Somebody just told me uh, at Arsenal you're never more than five minutes away from a crisis. I said, no, three. <laughs> Sorry? There's three trophies that have eluded you since you've been here. This is one of them. You could win the other one as well this year, and the big one next year if you qualify. Is that the final scenario you could see? Epilogue, end game, call it what you like? Uh, look, uh, we want to win the next game. Let's be realistic. It's a, it's a great, satisfying night for us because we managed uh, to beat a strong team. And uh, I felt that. Uh, uh, in January, we paid a heavy price for uncertainty that was existing in our dressing room. And uh, now uh, we are back with more clarity. We know what we have to do. We can focus on our game. And uh, so we had a difficult month, but we responded well. You won the last nine at Wembley. You won the last nine at Wembley. You're probably going to the game as underdog against City. But do you think that can inspire the team to win? Once you're in the final, you want to to win it. After, but uh, uh, yes, of course, we want to win it and uh, prepare well now. But the best way to prepare is fast. We want to come back in the top four in the Premiership. And so before we play the final, we have a big job in front of us, you know. And uh, that's what we want to focus on. Do you think there are many more underrated players in England than Nacho Monreal? It doesn't seem to get much credit outside of Arsenal. For me, it gets very much credit, but uh, maybe uh, there's a bit less focus on him because he's not a candidate for the English national team, you know, and uh, doesn't uh, make uh, many statements or many. Uh, he's maybe not enough, not a lot on the social networks, but our job is about performance. And uh, I like the word of silent leaders. You know, that means people come, they perform, they don't talk, they go home and they come in the next morning, they train well and the next day they do it again. And they are the real leaders in the teams. Awesome. How do things stand with Aubameyang? Is it true that in the second bid that's been turned down by Dortmund? The best is I don't talk about that because uh, it wouldn't help. Uh, we are, I think, uh, if something happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, we are strong enough to focus on the players we have and uh, to focus on the job with the players we have. I'm perfectly happy with the players I have. We got Mkhitaryan in, 
and uh, we have a strong squad. Is that the same as Johnny Evans? Is that the same as Johnny Evans? Look, if we sign somebody, we'll tell you very quickly. But at the moment, uh, we are open to strengthen the team and the squad, but uh, we are not close to sign anybody. Thank you very much. Also, you've never, you've never, you haven't always given this competition your, your, your full team. Um, yeah, because we are out of the FA Cup. And uh, so uh, I, we focus on, uh, on the League Cup, of course. And uh, uh, you could see last night, uh, Man City does the same. They played exactly uh, with everybody. <laughs> so it is uh, difficult to win trophies in England. And uh, that's why uh, when teams have an opportunity, they just uh, do it. And was it important also psychologically to lift, <coughs> lift the club after, after Sanchez, after the FA Cup, if they crush you along well after the league? Yes, of course. Uh, it was a blow to go out of the FA Cup, but uh, we won the FA Cup uh, three years out of four. So you have to accept as well. You know that uh, at some stage you can as well. Uh, in 20 years we went out one time. But what is important in the quality of games we play tonight is that uh, we show that we can beat big teams, you know, and that is the most important. After no matter what competition it is, both teams went for it, and in the end we won the game. So that is the most important for the rest of the season. Last one. Are City the same cities when you played them a few months ago? Are they as good as when you played them a few months ago? City? Yes, of course. We are dominating the Premier League at the moment, but. Uh, uh, we'll see in the final, you know, they are a strong side, of course. Uh, at the moment, they look unstoppable. And uh, But at the end of the day, you have only a chance to beat them if you, if you play at your best. That's what we'll try to do. Awesome. The transfer window is still open. Why do you think there's not been much interest from China so far? Because they slowed down China. And uh, people haven't noticed it. And many people still think, OK, if... Uh, uh, we pay these prices because if it doesn't work, China will buy the players for maximum price. That has gone. We have to be, uh, you look well at what happened in the last uh, 10 months in China. You have to accept that uh, uh, they have slowed down and uh, they are much more cautious about uh, spending big money now for European players.